Mr. Dabo, thank you very much for this opportunity and welcome to the Chronicle. Thank you and welcome to, to my place of residence. Thank you. Um, you are on the verge of forming a new political party, Gambia for All. First, what triggered this decision? Um, yes, you, I think you described it rightly. We are on the verge. We haven't actually formed yet. We are on the verge because the, the party following at the highest level met last Saturday and took a formal decision. Uh, and I should say it was unanimously uh, 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 taken as a decision to proceed and found a, a new distinct party. New and distinct because um, the, those who gathered there were part, in fact, a large part of the following associated with the historic party called the PPP. Um, you may know that um, there is a, an internal uh, dispute within the PPP from the time of the last Congress. We held the last ordinary Congress. And there is a whole pan of the following of the party which uh, have felt very disaffected by the way the, that Congress proceeded and have since uh, resolved to have nothing to do with the leadership that claimed to have emerged from that Congress. Mm -hmm. And they have since been trying many things, um, including legal action, to undo that, uh, that, that Congress and its outcome. Um, that, that some of those actions are still continuing. Now, the agenda, of course, is for, for, for the party or any party is to work on the ground to, to grow and, and uh, uh, in a bit to influence the conduct of affairs in the country. Mm -hmm. And that being the case, time is of the essence. And uh, there is a feeling that because the court process has the potential for dragging out for a long time. Mm. That uh, is with regards to PPP. Yes. Yeah. That uh, for the party to get along with its work, its essential task, uh, it needs to uh, start a new uh, platform to proceed. Uh, to no, because otherwise, the present in the present situation, the dispute is constraining mm -hmm. uh, our hands and the hands of the, even the other faction because uh, it's constraining in the sense that the, the, the broad populace out there who we try to convince are uh, waiting to see which way uh, the dispute will, will work out, to commit mm. either way. So we felt that we cannot really uh, afford to wait for too long and we've decided that we should go ahead. Mm. Because for us the essence of a political party is not the name, mm. it's not even the leadership. Mm. The essence of the party is the shared belief that brings together a certain group of people in a, re, in, a in a set of values and principles if they are they, they and, and their shared commitment to propagate and promote those those principles and values mm. so we think that uh, once that is there with us the name is of little consequence mm. but will it be fair to do, to do, refer to gambia for all the new political party in the offing yes as a breakaway PPP faction? No, it, 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 well, in a sense, yes. In a sense that uh, the, the, among the original founders of the party, as we are in the process of founding it, the original, uh, among them, the majority are people who used to be in the PPP. So in that sense, you can say they are breakaway. But even, from, even as of now, mm -hmm. there are a number of people who are associated who have come forward to associate themselves very well with the new initiative, who have never had anything to do with the PPP. Mm. So it's a sense also to say that, no, this is more than just a breakaway. Mm. But I mean, the key figures, among the key figures are those who supported your candidacy during the PPP, last PPP Congress. Mm. Um, that is before court, that you are challenging, the outcome of which you are challenging before court. Yes. Wouldn't it be fair to say that um, as a result yes. of that frustration and yes. dissatisfaction, yes then you came to form this party, and then would it be a fair description, would disgruntlement be a fair dis description to refer to you as disgruntled 
you know, members of PPP. No, I think that would be very unfair. You see, this issue is far more than the question of the declared result of the leadership election. It is far more than the question of Bakari Dabo winning or losing or somebody else winning or losing. It's far more than that. What happened was that uh, we had a Congress in the workings of a party, in the democratic workings of a party, a Congress is a very important event. It is an assembly of plenty potentiaries representing the different uh, units of the party, where they come as delegates representing their respective constituencies, hopefully in an ideal situation, coming to bring the thoughts and the opinions of their respective at the, at the assembly where the important weighty issues of the way forward for the party, including the leadership, will be discussed and decided. That being the case, that is the, 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 the process and the procedure are as important as the event itself. Mm. You have to first make sure that the, 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 those who turn up are bona fide representatives. And that didn't happen? No. Yeah, and I'm just saying that that's all very part of it. Mm. They have to be bona fide representatives. Two, you have to also make sure that the process of the Congress is one which is open and transparent, which enables them to freely express their opinions and exchange an interview and, and, and uh, exchange and convince each other until a decision is reached. That requires the Congress process itself to follow a certain set practice, a certain established practice and certain rules. For instance, the first thing, and this is really not simply a question of a political party or the PVP, this is a normal thing. Even with ECOWAS assemblies or UN General Assembly, you first put in place a body to conduct the proceedings, that's what you call a bureau. If you go to the UN General Assembly, you go to the, the first thing is that you first elect chairman and a secretary and their assistants to constitute what they call a bureau for the Congress. And they are entrusted with the task morally and practically of conducting the affairs, the proceedings, so that they follow because it's a very important event. This, in the case of our own December elections, was perhaps the most fundamental first fatal flaw. We never even, if you go through the proceedings, we never even were given a chance to elect a bureau. On the contrary, the conduct of the proceedings was hijacked by our host, who by virtue of being a host was first given the, the microphone to say words of welcome. That's a traditional thing. But beyond that, he never even allowed time to settle down for people to elect their Congress chairman. So, so there was no bureau. Hmm. Apart from that, there were so many things that went wrong with the process of the Congress itself, to the point of vitiating the, it as a process, and question put big question mark as to its legitimacy. As part of his business was also going to be the election of a, a, a party leader, which seems to be what attracts people's attention. There is not only, it's only part of the business, but even that itself, facts have come to light that while the actual voting, the, the balloting might have taken place, but the actual process from the time of selecting the delegates to accrediting them to, to the process of, uh, you know, uh, uh, that leads to the, was not done properly. So for, as a result of all that, less than 24 hours, less than 24 hours after the Congress, the, the, the party, a large part of the following, I wouldn't say all, but a large part of the following, met at Alajaya's house. I wasn't even there. And they unanimously rejected that what we, what we were subjected to was a flawed process, mm. both the Congress and particularly the, the, the election thing. So mm. they rejected it. Mm. Okay, they yeah. rejected and, uh, it. Dow, you, they yeah. rejected it, and that started the momentum leading to a series of activities that culminated in this thing. So it is not so much being disgruntled over the election result. I think that's missing the point altogether. Mm, mm, mm. Well, and yeah. you, you, you would have, of course, you were a very, very popular politician as a man, as a politician in the First Republic. And that, you know, explains why your political popularity, people in Kiang, your home constituency and across the country, 
called you Demba is okay. And contrary to your claim, a lot of people or some people say you lost the election for the PPP leadership to Papanjai because Demba was no longer okay for PPP militants. No, no, well, look, for, first of all, even have a sense of proportions when we talk. Um, if you, you started, you premised your remarks by talking about my, you, you are saying it, my supposed uh, popularity in the country, all right? Uh, I mean, I go in by that... Uh, within the PPP? Within the PPP. What you have is a, con a Congress, even if everything went exactly correctly, you are talking of a small electoral college or not more than 500 people. So their views need not really re represent, they need not re represent mm -hmm. the views of the broader following. So maybe, <laughs> to use your own analogy, uh, Demba may not be, in fact, uh, Demba may still be okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, may still have, he may not perhaps be okay to a small college. <laughs> you have to have a sense of proportion about these matters, you know. Mm -hmm. don't, don't be easily carried away by these things. It mm -hmm. wasn't a popular vote. Mm -hmm. It was a small electoral college consisting of about 500 delegates, you see, and uh, and even within that, there are so many question marks, hence the, the decision taken by wide uh, following within the party to reject it. Mm. So and I, you, you I, don't, so I don't agree with your, so right. uh, your, 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 your suggestion that maybe Demba has ceased to be okay. <laughs> but in any case, this is not about Demba. Yeah, right. It's not about Demba, it is mm. really about a body of people sharing certain beliefs and attached to certain practices and processes mm. who are dissatisfied with what happened. Mm. That is mm. really what has what is what's going on. Yeah, and earlier you mentioned the word distinct, a distinct party. Yes. Um, you, in consideration of the parties that we have in a small country, a lot of parties and a lot of other parties are expected to come up. Um, what is it about the existing parties mm. that is absent that will be present in the party that you are you you set out to, to to put together i think this will be for the gambian people and uh opinion leaders like you uh you give us a bit of time when we articulate mm. our vision our diagnosis of the problems of the gambia and our vision as to the as to the way forward you can then compare that with what you associate what vision you associate with the other parties and then you see whether mm. there is a difference it's not mm. for me to say the difference mm. Mm. and what would you say to criticisms or allegations that um you try the ppp leadership though you know you made your points i mean according to you it was in procedures were not followed and it was flawed and then you failed that the accusations that um you are power hungry and you want to be president you have to be president at any cost, by all means. No, I think that will be very unfair and <laughs> almost verging on the board of irresponsibility. Mm. We are talking about building a party. We are talking about building a party to put to the Gambian people a set of beliefs and ideas and proposals that we have. We are not even talking about who wants to be president. At this stage, we are talking about it. Even while I sought to lead the PPP, and even now we are talking about a platform, a political platform that will put to the Gambian people respectfully a set of ideas, set of proposals and say, look at this in comparison to what, what pro proposals are coming from. That's what we are saying, mm. building a party. It doesn't That's necessarily complete... mean you'll be the leader. Of course it doesn't mean it. anything like that. Mm. But it will you be the any, leader? Any, any, any well-organized party uh, handles the question of uh, candidate for presidential position in a completely different process from the process of selecting a leader to build a party. What we now need, what we needed when we, are, when we contested this thing in the PPP, as well as in the case of the present party we are founding, what we need is a person or persons who can bring the kind of uh, experience capacity building, uh, capacity and, exp and, and character to help build the party. We want to be a significant player in the political scene in the country. In the case of the PPP, when we contested it, we were mindful of the fact that this is a party with a great history, a party with a tremendous uh, legacy behind it. But in spite of that, because things had gone down so badly,
during this dictatorship and for other reasons, and for and other reasons, that the first time the party was put to real test, to test its weight, it was in the 19, 2016 uh, presidential election, because I was fighting in, we fought it in a coalition. Mm. You had solid parties, you had party Yoba Lema, the party, party Yoba Lema. So yeah. nobody knows, everybody can claim we did it. But the first time we did Fankum Fankum, each one for himself, himself. was in the president's uh, parliamentary elections. Mm. Now look at the figures. Look at the figures scored by the PPP as a proportion of the overall uh, 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 voters in the, in the, in, throughout the country. Mm. I mean, I, don't, I haven't done the total tally, but I can give you a few examples. And they tell you, if in a uh, sanitary in constituency with over 30 to 40,000 voters on the, on the roll, PPP scored 250 votes. Even uh, Talinding Kunjang, with a roll of maybe 20 to 30,000 votes, PPP scored 100 votes. In Bundung, uh, with a, a roll of something like maybe 20 to 30 or 50, we scored what 100 votes mm. uh, that shows you the dismal situation the ppp has gone to mm. so the challenge is to build a party let's forget about the presidential team that's far away mm. it's a pipe dream to to talk about the ppp or even the the present um, uh, project to talk about president no no no, no. that's not mm. the issue but is the ppp legacy likely to go in your favor or against you you mentioned PPP in during in, in you know when it was in power yes. there was a lot of um, praises there was a lot of satisfaction but there was also a lot of dissatisfaction yes. you know is that likely that legacy likely to go in your favor yeah, or the, against the, the, you the legacy of a party that has been in power for so long and under the circumstances which obtained them uh, is bound to have uh, its uh, strong points and its weak points mm -hmm. so when you when you lay claim to the legacy of the PPP, you have to accept it with that. Um, um, I, I think whether that will come to, uh, to be of a help or a handicap will depend when we uh, explain our, our, our proposals. We're not going to say PPP legacy. We're going to say in exact terms what that translates to in terms of our own program. So it's for the people out there to say, ah, yes, this we recognize it's similar to the PPP legacy and therefore we want to support it or not. Hmm. And, and what is likely, where, where do you expect to build your political base or where is your political base? Oh, from, from Banjul Hafdai to Koina. Hmm. Yes, we want to appeal to everybody. We are not having any preconceived minds. We respect Gambian people. We are not assuming that uh, for whatever reason, it is Brikama who will support us, it is Nyomi who will support us. No, no, no. We are taking that this is a, it's not even virgin land because the land is all occupied, there are all other parties. But we are coming, having confidence in two things. The, 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 the solidity of our arguments, our proposals, to the common sense of the average Gambian, the majority, the silent majority, they are sensible people and they will judge our party, like any other parties, largely not by the money you give, they giving them or the motorcycles, but by how they think the ideas will translate for the future of their children. Mm. So those two convictions mm. are what we have. Mm. And Mr. Davo, let's take a little trip down memory lane. 1994, after the coup, um, you were appointed by then, you know, AFPRC junta leader to serve as finance minister. Yes. A lot of people saw this as a disappointment. A lot of people were surprised. This uh, is likely to come up. Do you see this as a setback in the eyes of the people in your quest for, quote unquote, political sanity in the country? Well, look, I mean, hardly any action you take or word you utter can, be, can receive unanimous support. Uh, you said uh, some people have, I mean, I'm sure there were others, perhaps even more, who at the time saw it differently. Uh, I think um, there is just, I see this as nothing more than uh, a challenge which will be addressed through explanation, because people need to understand. At the particular time, the country was going through a very critical phase. We are faced not only with the most serious challenge to our 
constitu our, our political and co legal order, but we are also faced with something which was a totally new experience for the country. So all most responsible Gambians at the time were more, more worried than anything else. And um, a large part of that worry is because the team that seized power illegally and by force of arms mm -hmm. also happened to have very little to offer by way of proven track record. Mm -hmm. So to leave, to have see the country and its future in the hands of such people was a matter of great concern. Uh, different people had tried to even prevent it happening. And when all that failed, and there was this uh, appeal from them for me to continue in the role I had played earlier, uh, there were a lot of people, and I also saw it that way, that this is perhaps an opportunity, not out of political conviction, or ideological conviction, but as a pragmatist to say, well, look, maybe my uh, presence by their side could help uh, prevent the disaster. And when I joined them also, it was on that basis. That first thing to agree on the fact that we saw the military intervention as an aberration, not a normal thing. It's an aberration which had to be kept as short as possible to allow the country to go to the uh, constitutional order. Now, purists would say, well, you know, it's an illegal regime, so even if one day you are with them, yes, I, and I do respect that view. But I believe, uh, the way I saw it, that if I had succeeded in what I wanted and had shortened the, the period and the damage associated with their presence in power, I think that would have been for the good of the country. Mm. That's, what I, that's what motivated me. Mm. And more. finally, what's your assessment of the Barrow administration? Well, it is uh, still in the early days, although, you know, we are going right into the third year. Um, I have recently been in involved in a fairly high level citizen, purely his citizen initiative of looking at the situation generally. And uh, I must say that um, uh, my views uh, also call it a bit, but with the outcome of those exchanges, because these are with people who, like me, are interested, and some of them are very knowledgeable. Our overall view is that there are a number of uh, fortunate initiatives that have been taken uh, by the new authorities, but A, the pace is a bit rather slow, quite slow. Two, it doesn't include a number of other critical areas for which major initiatives in the form of reforms are necessary. So it's a work in progress. We are watching it. But I would not easily, I would not uh, neither condemn it outright, nor am I going to tell you they've done excellent. Thank you very much.